We're going against the grain today with this video. I'm at Optimum Precision Engineering in Cambridgeshire. We always talk about machine tool technology at MTD CNC and what impact it can have, the latest innovations for precision engineering companies. Today it's different. This story is about longevity. This story is about machine tools that last and showing and demonstrating that. Three Nakamura machines here that have been in here a very long time and they're still machining to optimum tolerances here today at this company. Liam, you're the uh, workshop manager here. You've obviously been working these Nakamura machines for some time. What would you say about the machines that you've got here and what they do for the business? Uh, well, they're quite good machines. They're obviously uh, reasonably old, uh, but they still hold tolerances day in, day out, really. Uh, don't require much um, maintenance other than the, the normal servicing and that don't really ever break down either. And, and you've got a part, or these parts here, this is a stainless part, isn't it, 316? A good example of what you're making on these machines. Yes, that's correct, yeah. This uh, it's quite a nice part, because it's got a few turn features and a thread, and, and you know, nice bore in it as well. Now, would you say, when you look at machines like this, they're sort of mid-90s, you, you would expect to not be able to make parts as well on this machine as you can on some modern machines, but would you disagree with that? I would and I wouldn't. I mean, obviously, they've not got the capabilities of the newer machine, but they're solid machines. They hold tolerances all day, so they're still earning good, good amounts of money for the business. I could say this is probably bad news for the engineering technology group in some ways, isn't it? It means they can't sell you a new one. I suppose it could be, yeah. They could take it like that. But then they've got a good product, so Nakamura's are great machines. Now, we've got three machines here. Do you, do you know what, what the models are and roughly what age they are? Yeah, uh, we've got a TMC15 in the corner there. That is early 90s. I believe that was the third NC machine Optimum as a company bought. Um, that has 10 turret locations. These two here behind me are a TMC18s, and they're sort of mid 90s, I believe, 95 ish. So we're going over two decades. Yes, yeah, and they're still holding tolerance as well. Are they just turning machines, or is there any milling function on them? I suppose, we, would you have had milling function? Well, you would have had machines with milling function, but these are just turning. Yeah, they're just conventional two-axis lathes. OK, now, you did buy another Nakamura as a result of the reliability and the success you've had with those machines. So let's, let's go and have a look at that okay, machine. Yeah. So this is your, this is a twin turret, twin spindle. This is a WT150, correct? Yes, that's correct. Now, this machine was purchased, was it six years ago? Uh, six to eight, I believe, somewhere around there. And what are you actually making on here, Liam? Liam? Uh, we make a varied uh, selection of components. Some just turned with holes on the periphery, some with full milling, uh, pretty much anything that comes through the door. What, what's the biggest um, benefit to a machine of this nature, in your opinion? Well, we find a lot of parts where, uh, you know, somewhere else they may have to be turned and then milled. We can do it all in one operation, uh, improving the accuracy of the part. And how influential was your previous Nakamura's that we spoke about, the three machines that you got there on this purchase? Would you have this here if it wasn't for the success of those previous three machines? That's quite a difficult question because obviously Nakamura are renowned for their reliability, but having those three and, and seeing the reliability firsthand obviously was a big persuading factor to stick with Nakamura for this machine. Now production turning is always a, uh, a point of discussion and this is a production turning machine, correct? Is that how you see it? Do you do large batches with it? Uh, it again, it varies on what comes through the door, but we'll go from sort of one-offs, two-offs, um, up to hundreds, 800 I think is one of the highest quantities we've had on this machine recently. So it, again, it, it sort of varies with what comes through the door. Of any type of material? Yeah, anything we'll cut, we'll try our hand at anything on it. Are you, are you uh, programming at the machine or offline? Uh, it's all programmed at the machine. Um, does, we don't have CAD facilities for this, so it's all done by the programmer's head. It's amazing really to think that this machine is eight years old because you look at it and I think my first thoughts were it was less than a few years old, so it's, it's aged well. Yeah, it's, uh, it is a good machine. So it's, it's kept clean and, and well maintained and it just runs and runs and runs. And can you see any more Nakamura's in here in the future? Have you seen the new control system that they've got and some of the, the newer machines, maybe even the AS, the smaller Y-axis lathe? It's certainly something for the future, I think, yes, definitely.